All right, this is Algebra 2, Lesson 6-5, Equivalent Forms. It's like yesterday's Lesson 6-4, but slightly um, easier. Um, again, let's review these forms. Anything to the power of zero is, make sure all of your cameras are on, why? It is? Always one. It is always one. And don't know what's going on here. And then if I have x to the power of negative n, and I want to write this with a positive exponent, I rewrite this as what? Come on, guys. We're, we should be able to rapid fire these off. You've seen these properties over and over in Algebra 1 and in Algebra 2 now. Some aside from why. Come on, these are easy gimme questions. Um, Jenny, Jessica, and who's this hippopotamus person? Um, if I rename, it shows That's me your name. Cohen. Please show your cameras. It, it's not working. OK. As I totally would. All right, uh, Jade. 1 over x to the power of positive n. There it is. Thank you. Yeah, and Conan, if you need to raise your hand, you'll have to do it digitally. Um, x to the power of n times x to the power of m. Whenever I multiply things that have the same exact base, what do I do with their exponents, Andres? You add them and you get x to the power of n, m. N plus n, I guess. Plus n. There it is. Good job. And then instead of uh, multiplying the bases, I'm now dividing the same bases. What do I do with their powers, Jenny? You subtract them, like n. n minus m. Perfect. And when I have a power to a power, what operation do I do to those exponents? Add, subtract, multiply, divide, square root, something, something. Gunner? Uh, x over n, wait, x over n to the m plus m, or divided by m. Divide right. by M like that. Yeah. Not quite. No. Oh. Different operation. It's one of the other three. Add, subtract, or multiply. Multiply. It is indeed multiply. N times M. Nice. And then whenever I have X times Y, two different bases, um, both of them to the power of N, how do I kind of, it's like kind of distributing um, Sergio? You distribute x x to the power of n times y to the power of n. There it is. Good job. And then the other kind of distributing, uh, Charles. Um, you distribute so with x to the power of n divided by y to the power of n. There it is. All right. So we we know these in our hearts. We're really good about doing these. Um, let's try using these um, with our higher degree terms down here in example one. Okay, so number one, uh, determine whether each expression is equivalent to two to the power of three t squared minus four t, all of that in the exponent, that seems hard. Let's try it. So um, obviously the base here is two, which means all of our bases have to be converted to two. So I'm gonna rewrite eight as two to the power of something, and then all of that to the power of t squared. But let me rewrite just the base. This base right here, what is 8? 8 is 2 to the power of, everyone hold up the number of fingers. Is it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? 8 is 2 to the power of? Not 5, Andres. It's 3. Most of you guys got it. 2 to the power of 3. What about 16? Number of fingers. 2 to the power of what is 16? The majority has it. It is 4. Make sure you have those memorized. Um, I'm going to use this third to last rule, Gunner's rule down here, x to the power of m, n to the power of m, um, to simplify both the numerator and the denominator here. Who can do that for us? Why? So that'd just be 2 to the power of 3t squared on top to over 2 to the power of 4t. Perfect. And last step to simplify this, um, I need to use this rule. I can't remember who told us this rule. Was it Jenny? Jenny. Um, Jenny's rule. What do I do now that I have the same bases and they're being divided? What do I do with their exponents? We'll give it to Cohen. Not quite. Multiplying them is when I have a power to a power. When I'm dividing a base, it's this Jenny's rule right here. I subtract them. 
Subtract them so I have to the power of what then? Uh, power of 3t uh, squared minus 4t. That's 4t. And lo and behold, that was what we were trying to get to. A is one of the answers. You might have multiple. I guess I need to go back and change these instructions for next year. There could be multiple. Select all that apply. We have to check B and C as well. In fact, I'm just kind of eyeballing B and it's looking pretty good. Who can tell me why B is also an answer? Sergio? So because that would be like the same step as step number, the yellow one. Oh yeah, the yellow, the orange, and then right here. If you, you simplify, get, you get the green, which is two to three T squared over two to the four T, which is exactly what we have in the orange. And then obviously you do the green step next. So you are correct. Yeah, let's go to explain it. Let's look at number, or not number, letter C. Um, I have to rewrite these as two to the power of, and we've already said this before, so I can go kind of quicker. Eight is two to the power of, everyone hold up your fingers really quick. It is two to the power of three, good. So this is equal to two to the power of three to the power of all that t squared goodness, and then still times two to the power of now four to the power of t. And I have to do a power to a power. Um, who can simplify that for us? Josie, you're here. Two to the power of three to the power of t squared. What do I do with the three and the t squared? Do I add them? Do I multiply them? Do I divide them? Are you there, Josie? Jessica, save us. Jessica, what do I do? Um. Um, I don't know. You got like a one in four chance. What operation do you do when it's a power to a power? Do you add, subtract, divide, or multiply? Add? Not quite. So adding is whenever I just am multiplying two bases together, which I eventually will be doing. But right now I'm just doing these two, not adding, but. Multiplying. Multiplying. So what is our power going to be? Um. Would I multiply it? You do multiply it. Wait, what am I multiplying again? The three and the t squared. Oh, um, three t to the power of two. Exactly, 3t squared. You just kind of squish them together. Nice. And then you do the same thing over here. Can you do that for us as well? It's going to be 2 to the power of? 4t. 4t. Thank you. And then our final step, what do I do now that I'm multiplying bases? What am I doing with those exponents? Andres? You add the exponents, and you'll get um, 2 to the power of um, 7t to squared, right? Ooh. 7t squared is a little bit off, but why? Why, Andres? Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you have to multiply the bases? No. So the base stays the same. You just, you're supposed to add these two, right? Yes. And then are they like terms? No. Exactly. So... So it would be 3t to the second um, plus 4t. 4t, there it is. Okay, okay. And notice that that is very, very similar to what we were asked for, except it was a plus instead of a minus, so it is not c. Woo! I see why it clapping for me. Thank you. Make me feel good. All right, example number two. On to the back. And there's no one raising their hand to slow me down or ask questions. All right, number two, same kind of question. I need to find something that is 16 to the power of 0.5t plus 0.25. This is slightly harder than the last question because 16 is not the final form. We have to actually change this number because obviously I'm seeing eights, twos, and fours, and 32s, all of those are some number to a higher degree. 
Um, same thing with 16. All of those are what number for the base? Uh, as a hint, it's not going to be five. <laughs> what number is the base? Something to the power of three, something to the power of two, something to the power of five. What is that something? What? Could it be four to the power of uh, two, two? Four to the power of two would work, but four to the power of two does not give it us eight. Four, how oh. would we get eight with a base of four? Well, then wouldn't it be a two to the power of a four, four? There it is. Yeah, let's use a base of two because two to the power of four, two to the power of three, two to the power of one, two to the power of two, two to the power of five will give us all of those numbers here. So two is a great base to choose. And that's kind of a tricky bit of trying to solve these problems. What base should you use? Use the smallest one possible as a general rule of thumb. So if I do two to the power of, as why it said four, will give us 16 and that's all still to the power of 0.5 T plus 0.25. And then I'm going to do what operation white with the four and the 0.5 T and plus 0.25, all that. Uh, you can uh, multiply it. All right, can you do that for us? What is four times 0.5 T? Uh, four times five T plus 0.25. That's, can you multiply the four into both of those? Yep. You don't have to worry about would like that terms. be uh, Would that be 2t plus 1? 2t plus 1. There we go. So this is the what we're trying to match. Which of these a, b, and c's match 2 to the power of 2t plus 1? So we had to do a little bit of extra work to kind of boil down the problem that they, or the, the expression that they gave us. Let's go ahead and simplify these other expressions now. So I can rewrite that eight as two to some power. How do I do that? And you guys can all just hold up fingers. Two to what power is eight? Everyone is gonna hold up. <gasps> yes, Charles and Wyatt are the only ones doing it, but you guys got it. it is two to the power of three. This is gonna be two to the power of three. And then I'm gonna say that all is to the power of 0.5 T. Um, running out of room. Maybe I can write that power a little bit lower. 0.5 t plus 0.25 and that's all going to be divided by and i can actually do a, um, another rule down here to combine these both into just one base and one well maybe two exponents but um but definitely one base this is two to the power of what what is the exponent and people are turning off their cameras and like literally i can see sergio wyatt and charles everyone else i can either see your forehead or i can see nothing at all can i please have your camera turned on and pointed at your face so i can see you please 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 charles um it would be 2t plus 0 0.5 there it is nice okay and then for this numerator, I can simplify that as well. Kind of the same step that Wyatt did where he distributed the three into both of these two terms. That gives us two to the power of what? Why did last? I want to give it to someone else. And Charles just did the last step. I'm not going to give it to him either. Come on, guys. Josie, are you there? This is a good time to do it. I'm sorry, Mr. Sorry, okay, you're there. Um, what is three times 0. 0.5? Five. Josie, can you do that for us? What is a half times three? There it is, 1.5, and that there's a T slapped on there as well. And then what about three times 0.25? Uh, <laughs> Say it again. Was it 1.5 again? But not quite. It's going to be yeah. half of that because 0.25 is half of 0.5. If I don't know if you're if you're really good with money, you can think of like if I have three quarters in my pocket, how much? How many cents do I have? 
somewhere. Uh, what was that? You kind of cut out. Um, four. Four. Um, not quite. Is it okay if I give it to someone else? Yeah. All right, Andres. 0. 0.75. 0. 0.75, yeah. If I have three quarters in my pocket, I got 75 cents. Um, and then the denominator down here is still that two to the power of T plus 0. 0.5 or just 0. 0.5. And now that I have a the same base in the numerator, same base in the denominator, I am allowed to use another rule of exponents. And that rule of exponents states I can have two to the power of something. What operation do I do with these exponents now that I have the same base? Do I add, subtract, divide, multiply? It's always going to be one of those four operations. We'll give it to Charles. Uh, you should subtract um, the exponents. So. Yep, you're right, and you get. Um, for the left, you should just get 1.5, right? Because that T's would cancel out. So the T's don't cancel out. If I, it's like counting the number of objects. Like if I have 1.5 apples, oh, and okay. three takes one of my apples away, how many apples do I have left? Uh, it should be 0.5 T then. 0.5 T. Plus. Stay you got that too, Mr. Sindel? New public health. Stay at home order in your area. COVID-19 is spreaded rapidly. Stay at home and keep your distances. Visit covid19.california.gov. Sent out at 12 o'clock on the dot. That was kind of scary. Um, sorry, wow. you guys are all getting it now too. <laughs> yeah, I just got it. Um, 0.75 minus 0.5, Charles, is? Uh, 0.35. If I have 75 cents. 0.25. Cents, yeah, I have a quarter left. 0.25. And hey, look at that. It does not match. <laughs> We're trying to get two to the power of two T plus one. That's not even close. So come back here. Shrink. Nope, not A. Let's try another one. B looks so easy, so cute, so little. How do we manipulate B? Well, obviously, we need to have the same base. How are we going to do that? Um, I almost have everyone in. Do I have everyone in? Um, I think so, right? Yeah, OK, go for it. So we're going to want to have a similar base of two for B. So you're going to want to turn that four into two to the power of two to the power of T and then just times two. Which is what? Uh, just two to the power of two T times two again. I'll say two to the power of one. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. And then just solve the rest of this for us. Just do one more step. Uh, so then you'd have a common base of two and you'd want to put two to the power of t plus one because you have to add the uh, exponent there it is and hey that that matches that's the same thing so b is an answer thank you Wyatt. and then we have to check c so it's the same thing over and over again this one has the most steps to it out of all of them all right, I need to rewrite these with the same base. So obviously I need to have two to some power. Two to what power is 32? Raise the number of fingers. If you need a second hand, you can use your second hand. I don't think you will. Oh my gosh, I'm only getting like the same three people over and over again. Guys, I did ask if you could show your faces. Jade has now shown her face. I want to see your faces. Come on, two, give it, take a guess. I'm going to wait until I get all the guesses. Those are going to be stuck here on the notes forever and ever. Two to what power is 32? Take a guess. It's not to the power of three. To the power of three is eight. So it's higher than that. I only see three people guessing, four people guessing, five people guessing, which happens to be the right answer. It is five. Two to the power of five is 32. And then that is all still to the power of point. 5t. And then I'm going to multiply by 16, which is 2 to the power of something else. Hold up number of fingers. 2 to the power of what is 16? Yes, now we're getting more people to participate. Well, maybe I jumped again. Only three still. 2 to the power of what is 16? 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So one more than that, right? 2 to the power of 4. There we go. And then the denominator also change of base here. So it's going to be 8 
that's two to the power of three. Two to the power of three, and that's all to the power of 0.25. Wait a second. There's a mistake in here. Or maybe Future that error. mistake was supposed to be made. I feel like there should have been a T there. Huh, interesting. Um, let's go ahead and pretend that that's a T just so that we can see if that's similar. So sorry about that. Let me circle this in giant green. Fix this for next year, Mr. Sindel. Fix this. Should have been a T. Sorry, guys. So 0.25. Teacher error. T plus one, yeah. Go ahead and log it. If you can remember to log the extra credit, you get it. All right. There is like three or four more steps. Who's got the next one? Oh, by the way, the way the extra credit trackers work while I'm on this tangent is you'll just send me a picture. You can either submit it to a Google Classroom assignment or just text it to me, a picture of your extra credit tracker by the end of the year. We're basically done. We have a few more days left of extra credit. Um, someone said for what? Just the last one, I think. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Go for it, what? Yay, thank you. Uh, so first we're, we're gonna just put all the, uh, exponents together so the on the numerator it'd be 2 to the power of 1.25 to the power of t times 2 to the power of 4 and that 2 to the power of 4 doesn't change because we still need the base of 2 and then on the denominator we're going to have 2 to the power of 0.75 t plus 3. there it is yep distributing the 3 into each of these terms and next step after our orange step, I need to get a just one um, base in the numerator. So I have to combine those just into two to some power and then the denominator is still the same. It's still two to the power of 0.75 T plus three. My T's are supposed to be curly at the bottom so you can distinguish them for my plus signs. And the numerator is what? Two to the power of something. Charles? Uh, 1.5t plus 4. Or is that a plus? Five. I think it's 1.25. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 1.25t plus 4. T plus 4. Nice. And then final step, lock in answer. Um, I have the same base, numerator, same base, denominator, so I can do an operation. Someone aside from Wyatt and Charles. Oh, the kid with the Mandalorian t-shirt over there, his name's Jeff, by the way. Jeff Finker. Okay. It's Wyatt's cousin, just came in the room. Uh, Jeff Finker, who obviously sounds different than Wyatt. Uh, Jeff, please tell us how to do this. Wait, all right, how are you doing? So first you're going to want, so we need the common base, so you're going to subtract the exponents and 1.25t and 0.75t are like terms, so you're going to subtract those and you're going to get 0.5t and then you're going to subtract the 4 and the 3 plus 1. That'll be your final answer for number C. Yes, and you, Jeff, have the same problem I have. I think numbers are C's also, but it's actually a letter. But good job, Jeff. You have it correct. Um, send Wyatt my regards. Um, you guys are both pretty good at math. Was that so Irish? Two, just, oh, I, I have no idea. It was kind of a mix of like trailer park Irish, I feel like. Um, uh, two to the power of 0.5 on T. On a daily basis, one. how much do you drink? Uh, uh, water? I don't drink enough water. Like, I basically drink maybe two of these a day. Um, C, not the right answer. 0.5 T plus one is not the same thing as 2 T plus one. All right. We're almost there, guys. I know I'm spending way too much time on this. Let me go through this one. And this one goes pretty quickly, I think. Um, I'm going to run through this one because I want to be done with this. So um, 36 to the power of m over 6. Notice that all of these can be rewritten with a base of 6. So I'm going to rewrite this as 6 to the power of 2 to the power of m. That was a weird m. All over 6 to the power of 1, which is equal to 6 to the power of 2m over 6 to the power of 1. I mean, nothing too magical has happened so far. Um, then I'm going to subtract. So this is really what I'm trying to get to is six to the power of two m minus one. And you can clearly see that that's a is immediately not going to be the answer because I'm going to rewrite this as 
six to the power of two to the power of two m minus one, which means I have to distribute it to. It's going to be twice too big. Um, and I'll get over here six to the power of four m minus two. Can't be a. This one is looking promising, but it's also going to be wrong. I'll show you why. This is going to be six to the power of two to the power of m minus one, which is six to the power of two m minus two, which is not the same thing as two m minus one. So really close again, but not b. The correct answer is going to be c because it is literally six to the power of two m minus one. It says it right there. Question what? Or Jeff? Well, or... wouldn't you have wanted to use a base of three because six isn't one of those nice two through five. So wouldn't have you wanted to use three? Um, I agree that six is kind of too large and it wasn't in our original sheet, but unfortunately three to any power will never be six, nor will it ever be 36. Three to the power of one is three, three to the power of two is nine, and three to the power of three is 27. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't get into a nice number. So yes, I agree, but if they ever have a harder problem, like seven to the power of something, they're never gonna do seven to the power of three that I have seen. Uh, they'll just do seven to the power of two. So if you see a 49 and a seven, yeah, the base is, is seven. Yeah, good question. You guys have exactly 10, well, exactly nine minutes and 30 seconds to do your summaries and then work on the homework. I finally gave you time to work on stuff today. Yeah, today's lesson, as you might guess, was a little bit easier than yesterday's. There's all of our notes if you need to see them all. I'll be putting a screenshot on right now. Give me a fist of five on our objective for today. How well can you use rules of exponents to find equivalent forms of exponential expressions? Four, 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 thumbs up. Gunner, Josie, and Jessica are the only ones that I haven't seen. Three for Gunner. Four for Jessica. That concludes the notes. And that does today for algebra two.